I want you guys to think of this like you have a short stick or tire iron in the self-defense world, right? Or it could even be translated to a knife as well. But let's just work on the stick for now. So I'm going one, two. We're gonna get even tighter this time. He's not gonna be able to extend the arm as much. One, two, three, boom, back to the six. Back to this side, back to here. Boom, right, building that hand speed. Nice, there it is. That's what we're building. Okay, blind walk. A lot of people think it's just like patty cake or wing chun with sticks, right? Blind walk was one of the main things that helped me get my left hand involved quite a bit. Okay, so when I'm feeding, I'm not feeding like I'm actually attacking. What I want you to do right now as a student is just understand that I'm a lead, he's a follow, and he's building reactions. So typically you'll see me feed an angle one like this, but if I do that, right, he kind of like, he can't do anything. His left one hand would have to get involved, move it out of the way. So I actually feed it to the outside. Then from here, he returns fire to me, okay? When you're doing balloon talk, make sure your fist is at the nose. It's very easy to see. He can just hit me with the stick, but we just want the fist at the nose because this is a close quarter fighting system. That's why we're using these awesome fucking sticks, right? Because they're smaller and they help us. What's the name again, sir? They are the phenolic serrata sticks. Phenolic serrata sticks. So not only can you use them for serrata eskrima, but you can also use it for blintol to make it even faster. So from here, I feed to the outside. He blocks any counters. And that's all we wanted to get fast at. Again, put that fist on the nose. The reason I need that fist there is it's going to help me push him faster. So we call that a one. Boom. I bring my stick back. Click, clack is how I like to say it. So click, clack. Click, clack. Click, clack. And the faster that Kyle can go, as long as this fist is on me, the safer I feel. So click, yes, beautiful. That's the sound, right? You hear the difference there. Bing, 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 bong, right? So now from here, I take my left hand, I slap this down. He can't use this hand to defend himself, so he uses his left hand, he kind of parries it, brings this one, hits my hand, pushes this one, and strikes. This time when he strikes back, he's gonna strike back nice and vertical. So notice the stick last time was like horizontal-ish. Now vertical, if it was on this side of the body, it would be palm up. So we're gonna go one, this is called a 12. One, two, three, return fire. Again, one, 12. One, two, three, and back. So we're gonna go click, clack into 12. Click, clack, nice. Notice he's building speed. We're both building comfort in this quarter range or this close range fighting. So click, clack, one, two, three. From here, I'm now going to feed to this side of his body. Think of it like an eye pick if you want, right? You can do lots of fancy stuff, but again, I'm just going to put it beside him so he can build a reaction. I'm blocking it and returning the fire. Notice how he's returning with that palm up. So we call this a six. So it goes block and counter, block and counter, block and counter. And even if I'm a little slower in trying to get to here, it's okay because we trust each other that he's not trying to punch me in the face or accidentally hit me with the stick. That's why it's imperative we do this. Plus, if we bend the arm, we get really close into blind walk range, sometimes you don't have a chance and you actually have to hit him with your fist first and then load him up for that big hit. So let's tie all this together so you guys can start building some speed at home. So he's going click, clack, or angle one. One, two, three, angle 12. One, two, back to that click, clack for the six. So again, one, 12, six. One, 12, 6, 1, 12, 6, 1, 12, 6, nice, right? You can see it's fun, right? But look at really what we're doing for me now as a lead. As a lead, I'm learning, I'm going to attack him, he's going to counter and return fire. On a couple of those motions there, I didn't just click clack, I actually slapped down before it got there. So normally it was click clack, but now I'm going click smack, right? I'm bringing this hand down and firing. He's trading. This hand can't help him right now. So the left hand comes out, bing, bong, bing. He comes back. I parry this one. This hand can hit here. That's called the three in balloon talk. I'm going to go up to the head, let go. He goes here and we're back to here. So we go one, 12, six, boom, one, 12, six, one, boom. But see what's nice about all this is we're really learning to use both of our hands in blind walk. At long range, if I'm out here, see, we don't really get that hand involved at all. 
right? At largo range, we're thinking about like trying to strike the hand or move in. Think of it more like a machete. I want you guys to think of this like you have a short stick or tire iron in the self-defense world, right? Or it could even be translated to a knife as well. But let's just work on the stick for now. So I'm going one, two. We're gonna get even tighter this time. He's not gonna be able to extend the arm as much. One, two, three, boom, back to the six. Back to this side, back to here. Boom, right, building that hand speed. Nice, there it is, that's what we're building. All of the other Filipino martial arts I was trained, my right hand or whichever hand the stick was in got very well trained. The left hand was getting better. It was taking years and years. Guru Joel Hungar introduced me into Blintwalk and man, my left hand became lightning fast. So let's add into this a little bit on Kyle's end, how he can use his left hand and think of it more practically for self-defense. Slow-mo, he blocks. Now here, because this stick is in the way, exactly, he has to get the left hand involved. If he grips onto that and holds onto that, think about it. He blocked, he controlled, and now he can hit perfect self-defense for a knife. So he goes one, two, and then he can smash. Yeah, see? He was, especially with these serrata sticks, that was awesome, right? He could bring this in, he could puño, he could come in punch, he could even build some elastic potential energy and smack that off or load it off, right? Bing, cover, and hit, nice. But that kind of stops the drill, right? So instead of there, he doesn't grab, he punches, I bring this down, now here he's gonna hold on hard to this hand, he's gonna smash my elbow hard. So he smashes the elbow, that can come into the face, or he can smash the elbow, slap the left hand in tight, pin this to my body so I can't swing, and then, well yeah, he can do whatever he wants there, right? Big old power one, or even that 12. When we go to the other side, one, two, three, back to here. Now on this side, his left hand's gonna cover and he's just coming over top and smashing. Again, we're just trying to get your live hand involved. Blint walk, in my opinion, in my experience, has made your live hand get the sensitivity it needs in order to be really good at that quarter range. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching the video. You're obviously very dedicated towards your practice of self-defense, but there's only so much that you can learn from a quick couple minute videos. And this is why the Buddha brothers and I spent some serious time and effort and put together a very, very high quality product available on buddhabrothers.com. It covers all the ranges of martial arts and everything that you need to do in order to be better at your self-defense. But what it also does is it walks you through how to train it, how to train it by yourself, how to train it with a partner so that you're actually building the skills and the attributes needed for self-defense. Yes, watching the quick videos and the shorts can do a lot, but if you really want to take a deep dive and learn a lot about self-defense, this is why we made this course for you. So make sure you train your ass off. Stay safe.